Hi everyone, it's Lana here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. In today's video, I wanna give you some prom hairstyles because it's prom season. I'm super excited for you if you're going to prom and hopefully these hairstyles are gonna give you some inspo. You can put it on your vision board, on your Pinterest board, whatever. These hairstyles, I really just wanna give you kind of the bare bones of the hairstyle. It's really just for inspo purposes and to give you a quick little tutorial on how to master the basic of the hairstyle. Let me know in the comment section, what are you looking for a hairstyle for? Is is it prom? Is it a formal? Is it a graduation? Is it a wedding? Let me know in the comment section down below. If it is a graduation, by the way, if you have a cap that you need to wear, I have a separate video for that. Hairstyles with caps. These hairstyles are not really going to work so well with a graduation cap, but maybe you can wear it for the graduation ball. Hopefully all of you get some value out of this video. Without more further ado, let's get into the hairstyles. For this hairstyle I'm going to start guiding my hair to the back of my head and I'm actually going to start bringing it closer to one side so you can see I'm bringing it slightly to the left here and that's because I'm going to start pinning it down right here so I'm using slides or bobby pins whatever you want to call them and I'm just going to crisscross those to make sure that they're really secure and then I'm going to start twisting my hair until it folds back on itself and I can keep twisting it and bring it up like this and at the top I'm going to pin it down with more bobby pins and then I'm gonna let my curls fall however they may maybe rearrange them a little bit to be more aesthetically pleasing but that is pretty much the hairstyle but of course I am going to accessorize a little bit so I have this barrette that I'm just going to stick right in the middle of the twist and I think that that just looks really pretty and elegant let me know what you think For this hairstyle I'm starting with my head down first of all and I'm going to take two large sections from each side of my face. Just remember with curly hair not to be too harsh when you're trying to create sections, kind of just go with the flow of where your hair wants to go. So there's my two sections and I'm just going to keep those to the side while I separate the back of my hair in half as well. So the bottom half I'm just trying to keep it out of the way and the top section I'm going to tie that because that's going to be part of the hairstyle. So I'm just tying this with a normal scrunchy, well, a hair tie, it's not actually like a scrunchy scrunchy, you know what I mean? So then with this side section, I'm going to start twisting this. I call this a two strand twist. Think of it as twisting each strand individually one way and then twisting them around each other in the opposite direction. And you end up with a twist that kind of holds its shape and it doesn't unravel. So I have a tutorial on this type of twist, I think somewhere else on my channel. If if you need to see that I'll put it in the eye in the corner so when you have these two twists I'm holding the other one in my mouth <laughs> so I'm just gonna tie those together so when those are tied together I'm actually just going to twist it once more to create a little loop like this and I'm going to bring that top piece that I tied and I'm gonna bring that through the loop like this and then I'm gonna release the bottom half of my hair because that did not need to be tied up it was only there to keep it out of the way so that's the hairstyle but I am just gonna tidy it up with some edge gel at the front and then I'm gonna decorate it at the back with some little gems so you could use the little spiral grip gems for this it might actually work a bit better but I just had these pins so I decided to use those and just trail them along the twists for a little bit of decoration and I really like how it turned out. Let me know what you think. This one is more of a princess ethereal vibe, fairy vibes. One of my favorite kind of looks. Let me know what you think of it. For this hairstyle, I want to separate some pieces of hair for a fringe. So with this hairstyle, I am actually going to be very precise about this because I feel like it just looks better when there are clean straight lines. So I did create some frizz. I'm just going to spray that down and brush it out. And that's also going to help with this step, which is the flexi rods. So I want these curls at the front to be absolutely perfect. So that is why I'm wrapping them around flexi rods. These are jumbo flexi rods. I got them from Primark. I wrap my hair around it and then I fold it down and this holds the hair in place. You've got to make sure it pinches the top and the bottom of the hair just to make sure it holds in place while it dries. And then I'm going to get to work on the rest of my hair as well. So I'm just spraying the top of my hair there and I'm going to separate the top half. I'm going to do a bit of a half up, half down hairstyle. 
So I'm going to spray it with water and then I'm going to take some holding mousse, this is by Aveda, and I'm just going to run that along the top of my hair, and brush it and guide it into place. I want this to look very sleek, very neat and very elegant. So I'm going to tie that there and I've also tied a piece of hair around the hair tie to really seal that off and I'm using a bobby pin to kind of give that a bit of a lift. So I placed the bobby pin horizontally along that tied piece of hair and that's what's holding it in place there like that. So then I've released the rest of my hair and when my fringe is dry I'm going to release those from the flexi rods as well and that is the look i actually wore this out to dinner the other night there are pictures on my instagram if you want to see those let me know what you think of this hairstyle for this hairstyle i'm going to take all of my hair and tie it very high on top of my head using a satin scrunchie this is a scrunchie from my brand hedgy i'll link them in the description box down below so i'm just tying it the whole way just like this because this is going to be a messy bun so for the next step i'm just going to wrap this up any way that you like is going to work fine. I did it with this kind of twist motion and then I'm putting a small hair tie over the top of that. And with the hair that's left out, I'm just going to rearrange it and pin it where I want it to go. I'm really just playing around trying to make it look aesthetically pleasing. And then I'm going to tackle the little flyaways around the side of my face. So first of all, I spray them with water and then I wrap them around my finger and just loosely let it go so that it forms a nice little ringlet. I just feel like when I have my messy bonds like this, I do like to leave lots of pieces of hair out as long as they're defined. I think it looks really cute. So I'm doing the same thing with the hair at the nape of my neck as well just spraying it lightly with water wrapping it around my finger so that it's nice and defined instead of being super frizzy frizz does work with this hairstyle too though that's the hairstyle let me know what you think With this next hairstyle, I'm going to start by separating the top half of my head from the bottom half. So I'm going to tie this bottom half out of the way first of all, and then I'm going to bring this top half back down. I'm going to sweep that kind of to the middle of the back of my head. I'm going to spray it with water and brush that so that it's nice and sleek. So the reason I do this is so that I have more control over what the top half of my hair looks like in the final result. So I'm just going to keep it there for now and then I'm going to bring down the bottom half of my hair and I'm going to split that in half and I'm going to bring that up and around the top section. So I'm just going to tie that above the first ponytail so that it's higher so that there's more volume it means that i can pinch the hair that's in the top half of my head like this to create a more volumized look without disturbing the part of the ponytail that's actually holding all of this together so when i've done that i'm going to wrap my hair into a tight bun and pin that down with some bobby pins i tidied everything up with some gel and that's the final look oh and i changed my dress because i felt like this was pure glam and elegance it deserved a feather dress let me know what you think this next hairstyle might be my favorite so I'm gonna separate the hair at the front of my face it's kind of starting at the crown of my head coming all the way down to my ear I do like this to be in quite a straight line so I did create some frizz as I was separating my hair but for this hairstyle, it doesn't really matter too much if there's a little bit of frizz. So I'm going to tie away the rest of my hair. I'm going to spray these front sections with water so that I can brush them down. I'm going to put some foam on those as well. This is the Aveda um, holding foam. And then I'm going to brush my hair down and take it to the back where I'm going to tie it with a satin scrunchie. This is one of my Hitchy scrunchies. I will leave them linked down below. So I just want to make sure that that looks really nice and sleek and smooth so I am taking some edge control all over that section and then when that's done I'm releasing the rest of my hair and I'm gonna apply some gems so these are like face gems like for a festival they're really easy to find and I just decided to put them on my hair so I'm doing it in purple and pink to match my dress 
and that is the final look i feel like it looks so whimsical so magical it's giving euphoria vibes i absolutely love it and i wish i had somewhere where i could wear this right now let me know what you think of it This first hairstyle, I actually didn't film a tutorial for this. I just did this hairstyle earlier because I was filming another video. So I just clipped this back here. Let me know what you think of this one. <laughs> so there you have it. Those are my prom hairstyles for spring 2023. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. Now that you've seen all of the hairstyles, make sure you drop in the comment section which one of these was your favourite. If you liked this video, please thumbs up. Also subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss my future videos. Get me on Instagram because I'm there all the time. And have a great day, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.